Anybody that knows me can tell you that I'm very hyperactive and actually shooting photography makes me calm down, relax, and stay focused. I never set out one day and said I was gonna be a runner. I had uh, injured my legs because I was overweight. And a long story short, I'm the 17th person in the world to complete a marathon on all seven continents. I grew up watching the Lakers and Magic, and eventually I tried out for a team. I played with a lot of hearing basketball players, and for me, I'm always at a disadvantage, so I knew I had to be better than everyone else. I got to try out in August for the United States women's deaf basketball team, and so this summer, I'm going to Turkey, hopefully bringing home the gold. So translating that over to Home Depot, I just brought my hard work and my ability to lead a good team. Being in the military, every service member knows there's always a brotherhood. And when I came to the Home Depot, I felt the same way. I've been working at Home Depot now for 26 years. What's kept me here is the Home Depot culture. I feel like I'm a part of a family. My team is amazing. Being deaf, sometimes I worry about what my voice sounds like. Home Depot has, has really gotten me to come and overcome that. Once they put on their apron and come into the store, they're all committed to the same one thing, and that's customer service, and that's working together as a team. I've been in the most remote places of the world, and every place that I went, I took an apron with me. I get a feeling of pride in my work at the Home Depot, the same feeling of pride that I get when I finish a marathon. It's nice to work in such a diverse environment. Everybody has their own passions and everybody has their own things that they love to do and they should. It's part of life. <laughs>